hello welcome back to my channel or if you are new then welcome um my name is Sophie Pay and I do pretty much everything plus size and today I'm doing something that's really 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 exciting and I'm going to be talking about all things plus size wedding related and also showing you some wedding dresses that I have been gifted by a brand called JJ's House which is a um online occasion wear store so they do wedding dresses prom dresses occasion wear all things like that and basically you send them your size and they make the dresses to fit and i've seen so many horror stories about ordering a wedding dress online so i wanted to sort of like test the theory so yeah if you want to see what i got from jj's house and me talk about weddings then stay tuned okay so first of all I'm going to tell you my sort of wedding dress story I got married in 2017 and I at the time was plus size but on that sort of smaller side of the plus size so I was like an 18 20 when I got married um UK and it was I wouldn't say it was difficult, but I feel like it wasn't difficult because I didn't put myself in any difficult positions. I'll explain. So, um, I thought that I knew the exact dress that I wanted. Um, and I even knew the brand. It would it had been on my Pinterest board for longer than I care to disclose. Um, I certainly was single when it got added to a Pinterest board, put it that way. Um, and I found that a lot of places local to me and in like Birmingham, which is my local city, stocked the brand. However, didn't have any bigger sample sizes. So I could have gone in and ordered a dress that was a size 32. However, there wouldn't have been anything for me to try on when I went to the shop. And as we all know 90% of the things <laughs> we order on the internet certainly me ends up going back because I don't think it suits me so I didn't want to make a risk take the risk of ordering a wedding dress and then it arriving and being like I hate it and now I have to keep this one so I tried to keep myself in a really comfortable place so I ended up going to a wedding dress shop that had a plus size floor um i will link them down below if anyone wants to go it was it wasn't a bad experience it wasn't a bad experience but it wasn't the best experience and i i've got like an obsession with weddings and wedding dresses like i always say like if i won the lottery that would be one of the things the things i'd want to do and like on TLC, I always watch like Curvy Bros Boutique. I'm like obsessed with it. And I think having watched all those sort of programs, the day wasn't what I wanted it to be, if that makes sense. It wasn't a bad experience, but it could have been so much more. Um, so I originally was looking at different shops that stocked the wedding dress that I wanted and like I say couldn't get anywhere that had um, the size for me to try on. So I started reading Google reviews and TripAdvisor reviews and I found so many people saying that they went to a um, wedding dress shop and was made to feel like shit because they were literally a size 20 plus and being made to try and squeeze in like a size 10 and like they get like the clamps out and like try and clamp it together and it all seemed very traumatic and I certainly wasn't in like a place with my body that I am now so I just wanted to make the experience as comfortable as I could so in the end I decided that I wouldn't be able to have that wedding dress which is quite sad and um, wouldn't be able to have that wedding dress and I went to a plus size um wedding dress shop that was local to me 
so i walked in and they had like an ipad and you had to like fill out your details and it was like how much are you willing to spend and um when's the wedding and all of that and then it said what size are you so i put in a 20 at the time i was probably closer to an 18 but i would rather i didn't want to try and squeeze myself into something and feel awkward so i put down a 20 and she came over and sort of introduced herself and that and then was a little bit like um you're gonna have to go upstairs because that's where we stock the bigger sizes and it wasn't rude and she didn't mean it in a rude way but it was just a little bit like um i don't know like all the brides downstairs was like it felt I, I felt like all the brides downstairs was like your perfect size 10 bride with long blonde flowing hair and then there was me who was like i'm a size 20 and it was sort of like mm, can you go up to the next floor and it wasn't a bad experience looking back on it um but i feel like now if i did it now i would probably find a um wedding dress shop that stocked plus size dresses multiple plus size dresses and either were plus size themselves or i don't know were really comfortable around plus size brides because i just felt a little bit like she felt awkward saying to me you need to go upstairs if that makes sense so um i went upstairs and this was sort of one of those places where you um you have the dress that's in the shop um so you didn't like order another one in you like had that dress so you went upstairs and you got like so many tags and you like went through and put like a tag on your um on the dresses that you wanted to try on so it was very much like this because i knew i had to well, i didn't have to but because it was like you had to have that dress you could only um how do i explain this you couldn't try if there was one you really liked but it was in a size 32 there was nothing you could have done about it you had to literally look at the rail of like what was in your size so for me at the time it's like a size 20 so it was like maybe 20 dresses in a size 20 so that was my choice then i didn't have the choice of all the other dresses um and yeah so i took three into the changing room and the first one was so similar to the pinterest one um and the one i originally wanted so it had the sort of longer um lace sleeves really like vintagey um lace overlay fitted to the waist flared out shorter t length um which is what i really thought i wanted and i tried it on and i hated it like i just hated it it just made me look really like i felt like i was uncomfortable because i was so like covered up i literally felt like a pork joint when they like wrap the string around it and like i just felt like i was like like a big bruiser i just wasn't comfortable with it and um it was weird because that was so similar to what i originally wanted and it just made me think if i'd have gone to one of these straight size um wedding dress stores and they'd have like ordered me the one i originally wanted in chances are i would have arrived and i would have hated it so yeah i think i sort of skipped skipped a pretty awkward moment there um and then i tried the second dress on and that was the dress that i had um so i'll put a couple of photos in here of my wedding dress was beautiful it was ivory it was lace overlay a really nice vintage lace had a beautiful like satin belt with a bow on it was tea length i loved it i really really did love it and i had to have quite a lot of alterations done to it um but 
on the day it was perfect. However, um, it was very much, so I took my mom and my best friend Claire and um, it was just like, we tried it on and I came out and we were like, yeah, this is the one, like this is it. And I think in hindsight, I really wish that I was more confident in myself and that I took the time to um, really like enjoy the day and like i've seen so many places where like you can go to this place and they do like little like afternoon teas and like prosecco and like, you're gonna have like all your bridal party sitting down and try on all the different dresses and you can all talk about it and i think i really miss like it really upsets me that i didn't get to have that experience because i think to me it was like okay this one fits like we'll go with it and it wasn't that i was unhappy with it because i I am really happy that I got married in that dress but it, ju it was just a little bit like the whole situation was a little bit rushed because I felt uncomfortable um so that being said my advice on wedding dress shopping is if you are going to go to a store then try and find one that's going to stock larger sizes the worst thing you can do is try and squeeze yourself into a size 10 size 12 dress when your body is 20 22 26 whatever um it's not going to fit right it's not going to sit on your body right even if they try and like hock the laces it's going to have like little boobs that are like here and like it's just it's just not going to do it justice so i would say if you can try and find a plus size store um then do that and my other advice is don't after what i'm about to show you like don't sign off the fact that you could buy your dress online some people are so much more comfortable with buying their wedding dress online shopping online in general and there's no reason why we have to go to a store to get a wedding dress like yes it can be a nice experience but it's not always and sometimes it can actually make you coming out feel, feeling worse so there's really nothing wrong with buying a wedding dress online and there is loads and loads of stores that do wedding dresses online i actually at one point almost wore an asos wedding to my dress asos wedding to my dress <laughs> an asos dress to my wedding um because i ordered it from my bridal shower and it was from the wedding range and it came and i was absolutely obsessed with it i'll put a photo of me in it here and they actually still stock that so i will link it down below but it was beautiful absolutely beautiful and the asos wedding dresses are incredible like they come like immaculately wrapped and in like a beautiful dress bag and like in a big box that says asos bride so yeah what I'm saying is don't completely write off buying a dress online because it's not all horror stories and I'm about to show you why. Okay so the reason that I came about getting these dresses is because for our second anniversary which was September just gone um, we had a white party and because I felt like I hadn't done the whole wedding dress justice um and now i'm so much more confident i feel i felt like i wanted to do it again so i was like i'm gonna have a white party and i'm gonna wear a wedding dress um and everyone was a little bit like okay sophie that's another one of your brilliant ideas um so i ended up ordering three dresses from jj's house now like i say these were gifted um and basically jj's house have the most crazy amount of wedding dresses i have potentially ever seen they are crazy like there is pretty much everything and you can really whittle it down so like on the website you can put in i want a line i want t length i want a train i don't want a train i want beads i want lace all of that sort of thing and it'll just whittle it down for you and i ended up ordering three dresses and i am so excited to show you um so yeah let's get into the second part of this video 
The first dress I ordered is called the A-Line V-neck Sweep Train Tall Wedding Dress with beading and it was £156. Um, it was available in three colours. I had white because I was having a white party um, but they also did mine in ivory and they did it in champagne. What you'll find is different dresses have different um, colour options so some dresses might have 40 colour options some dresses might have like the standard sort of three and um, so you can have a little look around so if you do want like a orange wedding dress then probably gonna find one on that side and um, and then you can either choose to have a standard size or a custom size so if you have a standard size it means that they will make it to like a standard size 26 you can get the size chart on the website or you can have it custom size which basically means you send them your measurements and they will make it just for you which I chose to do and I'm so glad that I did because they fit to perfection and wedding dress alterations are potentially the most expensive thing I've ever paid for the price of getting a wedding dress altered is pretty horrific, so if you can avoid it, then I would do so. So, at the moment, this tends to change, but at the moment it takes 15 to 18 days for the tailoring and then 3 to 6 days for the shipping. Um, and you can also order a swatch um, so if you're not sure about exactly what colour you want then you can just order some swatches and you can choose the colour from there. Now anything you order in a standard size can be um, returned. Everything you order in a custom size you cannot return so just bear that in mind if you're ordering a few order standard size so that you can return them. If you're ordering custom size try and pick that particular one because you won't be able to return it okay oh my god this is the first dress um oh my god i just feel like a princess man like oh, i absolutely love it the fit on this is perfection um so like i say custom sizing think about it because it's amazing it's got little cups in the boobs so there's no need to wear a bra this bit's sort of sheer so it would be quite difficult to wear a bra really with it um but oh my god i love it so if you can see it's got like diamante straps here and then like diamante detail here and then let me show you the back okay so this is the back and i feel like the back's just such a beautiful detail like when i wear this i feel like i have to have my hair up um so yeah it's like a perfect length the bottom is just tool layers and layers of tool and oh my god it's literally perfect like i don't know what i was expecting to arrive but it wasn't this like i just i, I kind of thought they were going to be a little bit funny if i'm being honest um but they are perfection like there'll be little things that are like slightly cheaper than if you went to a, a boutique and i get that like you might find like the odd thread and that but looking at it price wise these blow it out the water 100 percent blow it out the water oh my god i love it you can see like the detail of like the lace and the belt here and then we've got the strap this is a close-up of the back so it's just got this beautiful like jewel detail honestly i i literally love it i want to go out in this now i'm literally going food shopping tonight can you imagine walking around Asda? <laughs> okay so the second dress i ordered is the a-line square neckline chapel train tool wedding dress with bows and um, this one was 168 pounds and this one um is available in four colors so you can have as pictured which is like a blush um ivory white champagne um and again custom order um and this one oh my god literally 
obsessed with it and um, i love the neck on this i think the neckline is absolutely beautiful um and like all the tool and it's got like a little chapel train on it oh my god literally when these dresses arrived i was just like adam we need to arrange some sort of wedding some sort of wedding because i need to wear these again asap okay this is the next dress and can we just give a moment to this neckline which is actually incredible they've all got built-in bras as well so i actually feel like i've got boobs which is a rarity again this one's fit to the waist but this one's got like a band of satin and again the bottom's just tall it's also got a really big train on the bottom um, which i'll show you in a minute and oh my god the back on this one's beautiful but i'm home alone and i can't get anyone to do it up but basically it's all all buttons all the way down this is a close-up of the lace overlay it's so beautiful it's got like all gold detailing in it it's all embroidered beautiful and then it comes down to like a fitted waist and then this is the bottom of the dress so as you can see i've got a little a little train going on which is absolutely beautiful and I just can't believe the quality of them and um, I think they're beautiful especially I think if you had this in blush would be literally incredible the blush with the gold now that's a wedding color palette okay and the final dress I ordered was me trying to maybe get like a piece of what I didn't feel like I got in the wedding dress shop. I want you to try on like a big ass wedding dress. This isn't that big in the grand scheme of things. Um, but I just wanted to try on like a proper, proper wedding dress. So um, this one is the Ball Gown Sweetheart Sweep Train Tall Wedding Dress. This one was £206. Again, they've got it in blush, ivory, white and champagne. Um, again, custom ordered. And... I just absolutely love it. I think if I so I ordered all of these in white, um, because I was having a white party. I think if I was getting married, I'd probably have ordered them in the blush. I think sometimes white can look a little bit cheap. Um, I mean, some people love getting married in white, but I think because these dresses are slightly cheaper, like most dresses are well over a thousand pounds and these are all well under a thousand pounds so they are going to be made cheaper however i think by doing little things like not choosing anything that's too over the top um she says they're all bloody over the top but i feel like just doing just doing little things like maybe getting like a blush or an ivory rather than a white makes it look a little bit more expensive and yeah again so happy with this one so happy okay right so this is the final dress and i just i really wish that i tried like a proper ball gown on because i felt like it just would have won me over i actually love it the arms are so cute so they're just like sort of hang hang down oh my god i think they're actually beautiful this bit is fitted literally to perfection these keep coming off i feel like i probably i know they're meant to be like that but i feel like i'd probably like tighten them a little um so this is fitted to perfection but it's also got like the proper bra clasps in so it means that it can like properly give you support it's got boning in it which gives me a shape i didn't even know i had and um, so it's like fitted down to the waist and then just look at all this it's just layers of tool with like this beautiful lace overlay over the top I just think it's actually beautiful. Again, I think this one in blush would be perfection. Um, but they're just, I can't believe how well they fit. It's really, honestly, really, really surprised me. Um, yeah, I actually, 
I love it. Let me bring you down. Okay, so this is the bottom section in all its glory. Again, perfect length. And I just think the detail on it's perfect. I love it. I honestly love it so much. I love it. So that's it. They're my wedding dresses from JJ's house. And I now have three wedding dresses with nowhere, nowhere to keep. Um, but I'm so excited. Like, I absolutely love them. Um, and I just want to wear them to every occasion. It turns out that I ordered them too late for the white party. So I couldn't even wear them to my white party. So they're just sitting there waiting to be worn. And don't worry, I 100% will find somewhere to wear them. Um, so yeah, thank you so much to JJ's host for gifting me these wedding dresses. If anyone's got any like wedding related questions, then I just bloody love talking about weddings. So feel free to either drop me a DM on Instagram or message Put, put a little message in the comments and yeah I really hope that you enjoyed it I feel like a bit of a plus size barbie that we're just like throwing dresses on <laughs> and I'm here for it so yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon <sighs>